Come to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. So the moment impressed. you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, really. disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Time to insist on the separation of powers. Word over, the law regulates society, and the law is not much of what is written in the statute books, but what the court says it is. That's why judges are encouraged to dispense justice, even if the heavens will fall. However, when a government or its agency, whose duty it is to implement the law, or pronouncement of the law as made by the court, now begins to intentionally flout or refuse to obey court order, then that society is gradually descending into a state that is short, nasty, and brutish. The recent marching order by the Federal High Court in Abuja, as reported in both various convention and online newspaper, ordering the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission, ICPC, to immediately unfreeze bank accounts and release his asset belonging to Blade Construction Limited and his director, Mr. Chukumomo, readily comes to mind, amongst many of such other orders intentionally disobeyed by government and its agents. You can add El Zazaki and Sambo. As reported in the Nation newspaper of May 7, 2019, and other newspapers of same day, the plaintiff had accused the ICPC of engaging in a witch hunt and therefore challenged his powers under the ICPC Act to investigate the dealings of a private individual as an entity not connected with public institutions. The plaintiff in the case challenged the ICPC for continuing to hunt them after they secured a judgment against it in November 6, 2017 on a similar matter at the Federal High Court in Abuja. Mr. Ochukomomo, in a supporting affidavit, avowed that the EFCC, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, and the ICPC separately investigated the plaintiff between 2015 and 2017 on the same issues and cleared them of any wrongdoing. The presiding judge, Justice Binta Yako, heard that the anti-corruption body should release all seized properties of the plaintiff to them when she heard that the ICPC overreached itself by directing bank operated by the plaintiff to freeze the account and seize the assets on claim that it was investigating their businesses. The judge said the ICPC went ahead to carry out these actions despite being aware of the plaintiff's suit against it taking such steps. Yaku had frowned at ICPC's conduct upon being told by the plaintiff's counsel that the defendant failed to comply with the March 15, 2019 order of the court, directing it to reverse all its action against the plaintiff. The judge insisted that the court order must be obeyed by the ICPC. The judge also noted that the law that allows ICPC to freeze suspects' account for up to one year without first obtaining court permission was a bad law. While it is important that our court should protect its integrity by insisting that this order must be obeyed before any court party can be heard, most courts have shied away from this practice when it comes to government and the corruption agencies for fear of intimidation. This is where I salute the courage of Justice Bita and Yako. It is ironic that the government, looking for foreign investors by the day, is encouraging its agencies to disobey court orders, thereby frustrating the effort of local businesses at creating employment. This practice is found by the statement credited to Mr. President in 2017 when he said that national security supersedes the rule of law. And what is national security becomes defined by the handlers rather than the courts. And as Mr. President takes the oath of office for another term, he must try to reverse such practices. You know, at first, I thought I didn't understand what you were talking about, because I'm like, okay, so Libros is going to have to explain what's going on. But as you got to the end, I began to understand, and you're so totally correct. I think one of the shameful things about our government, and in particular, we must say this government, because mm -hmm. truth must yeah, be hidden, no. mm -hmm. is that go, they have one after the other disobeyed court order. And we must be, like you, you've said to us before that, you've said on this show before that, the, the, the judgment may not be 
as we want it, yeah. but it is a judgment nevertheless. And governments must also realize that go and challenge it okay so this yeah. is how exactly can go free go and challenge it again but don't do all the mago mago and ignore the court or that otherwise we as the citizen should not be listening to you exactly but you see my, the exactly. other point of it is like you know we're discussing earlier and i think you have to give me the name of this lady who just stepped down now because she's the, the president of the Bukachua. Okay, Bukachua. yeah okay. Zainab Bukachua. and that's the kind of language we need so that we can respect the courts because someone told me recently that look governance is not really the responsibility of government Governments. governments are meant to show leadership, your posture that inspires people, then we govern. So if people who are in, um, in institutions of, you know, the courts, don't show you that kind of the behavior that um, Bukachua They don't uphold the law. Yeah, and you and see, like now, they've yeah. called the CJN out yeah. on his falsified aid. Yes. Let's see what he does. Mm. Yeah. It's that kind of body language that makes us know that this is an institution to be feared and revered. If not, people will look at them like, you're all playing yeah. games. And no I think you. what happened was that this, um, let, we have to speak about this government because, mm. you know, wow. this is where we're at. Um, when they first came into power, their whole thing was to discredit the judges. And by doing so, they made all of us yeah. feel like we had no confidence in in their judgment and I feel like it was them leading up to these moments where they you know choose to obey court orders yeah. or not because once you you give the impression that the judicial system is corrupt Compromise. then you've got um, their followers right. saying ah, why should they even you know follow them blah 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 but we need to follow the rule of law if we don't do that then we don't have any we don't society have a country. at all we don't yeah. and i think the, the um what's called lawyers such as liberals i mean I, I think the judicial system or the judge the judge has been corrupt We've always guessed it, and lawyers will tell you that, you know, and it's you've everywhere. had a strong case and you get to court, you're like, I I'll manage, you know. So we've always known yes. that. But for me, my thing is, we actually have an SAN as the VP. And what I had always hoped, and that's where I I'm disappointed, because this is somebody who I respect a lot, a mm -hmm. great deal, whose mind I think is absolutely brilliant. And he was very much a reformist. Yeah. Why then did you get there and you allow this to happen? I can only That's presume. That's a very important question. Yes, I, I, I can only presume it's a case of, well, if you don't comply, resign. Mm. Quite. And we have been waiting yeah. for him to resign. Yeah, it's exactly. better to resign should. than to be in effect. Yeah, I can only presume and that's, what, have that's what the fate yeah, accord is. Yeah. This is, is not what it's the, about. The challenge exactly. for me, why I even decide to bring this up, mm. is, you know, the over 200 workers you know, employed by this company. The moment you freeze all of the accounts, they can't pay workers. Which private. is so stupid. And exactly. So they can't pay workers if you fail also. But you even made the case that the ICPC have no business. They have no business doing private yes. Yes. prosecution. Then anyway, it, it, is, it, is, it is for you know government institution. The EFCC is it is the EFCC's responsibility to investigate that private or yes. public financial crimes. And from what the, the pop court documents I read, the EFCC had investigated this, the same matter and, and, cleared, and cleared them. Mm. And, and so now you court grants an order, you refuse to obey the court order, you say, no, we want to appeal, even if you, you have a, appealed. That appeal, the notice of appeal in itself is not a stay of execution yes. of mm. a judgment. Yeah. Mm. You comply because yeah. when you fail to comply, what you are telling even businesses that you're trying to move yes. into Nigeria is that you don't obey court the order. So if they get a court order against you tomorrow, they you know might likely And that's actually chasing foreign investors it's, away yeah. because and, and, when and they see there's no rule you of have law. Not, yeah. You have not even encouraged your local investors yeah. by complying with orders they get against mm. you. Yes. So the, the pressure you create worldwide is the fact that, oh look, we don't obey You can make yet. it up as you, you go along. And yeah. then and secondly, which is like Iretti says, and that says, government is above the law. When you That's say that the judiciary is your headache, we all know here if you have a headache, you look for Anastasia. Panadol. You know, <laughs> what is your panacea to exactly, that headache? Exactly. Nothing. You just oh, throw, it keeps, uh, you you throw it out there. You throw it out there. This is my say... headache. And yet, the, there are no amendments to the composition of the NJC. We still have this man no man appointment of judges. And, you know, so you now begin to wonder. You say, the vice president, you know, reformed it in, in Lagos in when Lagos he was at State, Tunisia. He really did. What is stopping him from even starting with the federal? But let me just ask, is there any known, because well, let's not assume this is a fact, because you haven't, you haven't even established it yet. The Independent Corrupt Practices Commission, 
Is there any link that links them to this particular case? I mean, links the government to their activities? Because we're calling government, government, government. But they're, they're the ones going in and going if against you the say, state. Look, look, look. I if think you what say, Liberos is saying is that, that, government agency. Is that if, yes. yeah, it's a government agency. So, and if government, have, if government has set a president to be disobeying court mm. orders, their agency just, will follow. Okay, so yes. it's not, exactly. But we're not saying, uh, just let's be clear, that the government sent them after this. No, 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 no. no. Okay. No, it, it, oh, it, which one? Okay, no, 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 no. the government they haven't been linked. Uh, no, they have not been linked is, to the government. But there's a okay, pattern of behavior. There's a pattern of behavior yeah, okay. when yeah. government fails to. If, in those, even in those days, you hear the Supreme Court gives a judgment, and Attorney General will say we are studying the judgment, mm. and then you now begin to wonder: an Attorney General of the Federation mm. studying a judgment whether to obey or not, mm. or a judgment is given against a governor, and he says, "Well, uh, we will obey," <laughs> and then you ask yourself: Is it in your power yes. not to obey? But, yes. uh, for me, the sadness is that we don't realize that we're shooting ourselves in the foot. Yes, You're exactly. taking away the very foundations of this country, and you think it's a matter of, you know, yes. like partisan yes. politics. You know where, Everybody's yeah, you know where I would beg to differ. I think they do know that we're being shot in the exactly. foot. They just don't care. Yeah, and you see, you've it works got to for care. Them. You've got to care to to be able to implement a change or to respect something. If if don't don't get me wrong. Look. Successive governments have been doing this, but this government seems to have made it a pattern of behavior yes. or the norm yes. or de rigueur. Yes. That's the word yeah, I was yeah. Yeah. They, they, but, uh, And okay, fine, you say that you want to fight the war against corruption. I would love you to take one person to court, do all the evidence, all the this and all the that, and truly find that one person guilty properly. Exactly. I promise you things will change. Well, well some, some advocacies are non negotiable. Yeah. But well, um, Ekene stares down the barrier of another area of societal corruption after the break. Come to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. So the moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics and enjoys for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's a terrible, strategy. Strategy. Like yeah. a terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah.